Okay, today I want to show you how to set up a PPTP or point-to-point -point tunneling protocol VPN server on your home network. I'm going to set one up for you right now, show you how it's done. Uh, the first thing I need to do is I need to get into Internet Explorer and bring Internet Explorer up. And um, what I want to do next is I want to get into the default gateway address for my router so I can get into my router. And let me just back this up and type in http colon slash forward slash 192.168.1.1. It's prompting me for credentials. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And it logs me into my router. And you can see that I have a WAN IP address provided on the public side by my internet service provider. Uh, I've set up a DDNS, which is a dynamic DNS server. Um, with a, an address of kerberosvpn.asyscom.com. That way, if I'm outside my network and trying to access my VPN, uh, or my router for that matter, um, I can use that uh, address as opposed to an IP address. And in case this WAN IP changes, it won't matter. All right, I'm going to come down to the uh, VPN interface on this router. This is the Dark Knight uh, RTN66U. Excellent router, by the way. Um, I can either set up a PPTP or an open VPN. I'm going to go ahead and elect to set up a PPTP for a couple of different reasons. One uh, is that I can connect more devices to my PPTP VPN server, such as my uh, Apple iPhone 5C, that I can't do that uh, setup for open VPN. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And when I turn it on, then I'm going to come down and set up an account to access the PT PPTP uh, connection. So let me set up D Callaway and a password of password. Just to make it simple. Go ahead and add the account and then apply the settings. And these settings now are being applied to the router, to the PPTP VPN server. All right, now that I've got that set up, I can go ahead and close uh, Internet Explorer. Let me get into Control Panel, and uh, let's go into Network, uh, where are we here? Network and Sharing Center. And then I'm going to set up a new connection to the network. And I'm going to set up Connect to Workplace. I'm going to connect a VPN. Click Next, and then I'm going to click on the use my internet connection VPN I'm going to use my internet connection to create this VPN I'm going to type in Kerberos VPN.asyscom.com and I'm going to call this connection uh, just simply PPTP VPN connection okay um, then I click next and provide the username that I provided on the server. Password of password. And then I'm going to, this is optional, but I'm going to go ahead and type in the domain asyscom.com. Click connect. And it's going out and attempting to connect to that PPTP VPN on the server running on my router. And it says I am connected. So if I close this connection, you can see that I do now have a PTP TP VPN connection set up in the control panel. If I go down to my connect connection here, you can see that I am currently connected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up Wireshark, which is my favorite um, packet sniffing application. And um, when it comes up, I'm going to set up the uh, interface as my wireless connection so I can look at packets traversing the network over the wireless. And click start. I'm going to go ahead and do a trace now. And as you can see, any place where you see a PPP, that means that I have uh, an encrypted tunnel that I'm sending traffic through. Okay. So this has been a demonstration to prove that I can set up a wireless uh, PPTP VPN connection over the network my existing internet network 
connection over the network that I have set up over my router.